Second guy, and the first guy I'm going to bring up is a Swedish defenseman, Philadelphia Flyers pick, a uh, bit of an undersized guy, but he is 20 years old. He's one of those guys who wouldn't be eligible to play, won't be eligible to play in Moncton and Halifax uh, this year in December, but is eligible because of the uh, how it was delayed or whatever. And he was picked 54th overall in 2020, and that's Emil Andre. Emil Andre, the Swedish defenseman, was one of the one bright spots about Sweden, and I thought he was an absolute standout. Not only was he the captain of the team, but he was probably their best player. Uh, he was he made the All Star team for the tournament, if that means anything. One of the best defensemen in the tournament. Uh, ended up getting eight points in seven games played. Great puck mover. Great first first pass. Best skater on the team. Uh, by by most accounts, and uh, you know, kind of stepped up as an offensive and defensive go to guy in place of some other players who we we more so expected to fill that role. So, what do you think of Emil Andre for Team Sweden? Well, first of all, he really stepped up when Edvinson went down with an injury in the in the first couple of games. It was like immediate that you saw him step up and be the guy, and no one really expected him coming into this tournament to to be their their number one. Well. Man, I honestly don't see this team making it to the bronze medal game without him. I think there was three guys that stood out on Sweden for me. It's him, Wallstead, and uh, Lysel, which we mentioned before. And God, I love the creativity of that guy in the drive. He's he's so great. Thought about bringing him up again, but I had other guys I want to talk about. Well, yeah. Mil Andre, it seemed like every time I looked at the DV, he was on the ice. He was doing something and he was involved and not just defensively, which he was great at, but he was really the offensive driver of this team, Sweden, who struggled to score. And usually we expect them to have three snipers just putting the puck in the net. Well, it had to be a defenseman here. Four goals and four assists in seven games is is awesome. And I'd like to see his time on ice total, but I've missed that stat somewhere. So, yeah, he, he was he was so important to that team yeah and i liked what you said like you don't think they get to the bronze medal game without him because that was a big story this year like sweden couldn't score and like having him step up that was incredible especially because we expected guys like evidson who you know we battled that bug uh, he, he battled the, the flu or whatever. Yeah. It not, was. not injured. Yeah. I, don't know why I said that. Right. Yeah. Well, well originally like, I mean, because it's not the NHL, you don't know the yeah. instant it happens. Right. So they, they were even talking on the broadcast. Gord Miller was kind of, I think he said injury once and then they found out the next day it was a, a, a bug. But anyways, like you expected Edvinson and also, uh, Wallander to, to kind of step up the two Detroit picks there. And you know, they were, both good but even when Evanson was healthy like he didn't stand out to me as much as I as I thought he was going to it was Andre it was he yeah. was the guy and the lack of scoring really stood out on this team when you look at Wallstedt's numbers <sighs> you, you see a 940 and a 162 goals against average with two losses and three wins it's yeah. like that to me screams like a team that uh, screams a team that can't score yeah and man like I'm so happy that Wallstedt was the go-to guy this year and that he played as well as he did i i just wish he was able to carry them to the gold medal game because like man like when i watch him play there's nobody his age that moves as well as he does and i i said this to you i think i posted on the the, our story too like he just moves so well and he's so fluid and he's so technically sound like with his footwork i it's like i I love it. it it's unbelievable to watch as a goalie um, but Andre, back to Emil Andre, I looked up some of his stats because really I hadn't heard about this guy. He was kind of an older, uh, you know, one of the older players and you expect him to, to do well. Right. But obviously, like we said, we didn't expect him to be so good. He played 31 games in the SHL last year. Um, he had seven assists, no goals, but you know, that's saying something. The fact that at 19 years old, he made an SHL team. He also played 56 games in in the Allsvenskan, which is the uh, Tier 2 league in Sweden. Still a really good league. Um, and he had 39 points in 56 games there. So, like, he's he's kind of, he's on the up and up. I don't know what his timeline looks like, but he sure as hell had a phenomenal tournament. And if you're a Flyers fan, I mean, at least this is something that you have to look forward to, this kid coming through uh, and hopefully making the team within the next couple of years. 